Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna do a walkthrough, high level overview and initial setup of Awesome Miner. It's my favorite Windows mining application. I've used it for a long time. So I'm excited to show you what it does and why it might be useful for you. This is probably gonna be the first in a series of videos I'm gonna do on Awesome Miner. There are just so many features to this application that it's just gonna take a lot of time to cover them and do them justice. I'm not sponsored, it's not a sponsored video. I do have an affiliate link down in the video description below though. If you do wind up signing up or if I've taught you anything that you find useful in this video, I really would appreciate you using it. Awesome Miner is an all-in-one mining software for Windows that I've used for many, many, many years now. Uh, and I just find a lot of value in it. And there's been a lot of requests as people see me use this in live streams or other videos to do like an overview of some of its features. And that's what I'm gonna do in this video. It's a really high level overview of its features. And then we'll do an initial setup and get this PC that I'm recording this on mining. So let's get started. I'm over on awesomeminer.com and you can see some of the features that it has right away, which is gonna be, it's useful for GPUs as well as ASICs. And I've also used it for FPGAs in the past as well. Going down here to GPU mining specifically, which is what we're gonna focus on in this video, you can see it has native overclocking built in, so you don't need to use MSI Afterburner. It has profit switching, which is probably one of my favorite features of Awesome Miner. This was really helpful for me in the bear market where it would switch between the most profitable coin at the time or switch between the most profitable platform, like it would switch to mine to NiceHash, or move over to Zerg pool or Z pool, just depending on what was most profitable at the time. It has power consumption in it, pulls a lot of information from the mining software, which it supports, right? It downloads T-Rex miner, Team Red miner, you know, all of those miners it will download on the fly, keep them up to date for you. And so that's how it works, uh, pulling all that power consumption, all that data in from the miner to display it for you. It also has remote agents. Um, and so the way this works is, you would install Awesome Miner on your main PC, which is what I have it on right now. And then also your other mining rigs, whether they're Linux based or they are Windows based, you can install their remote agent, which will feed all of the information to your main computer and let you monitor those rigs, control those rigs, just like you were sitting in front of them. ASIC mining, we mentioned their support there. And then as you would expect from any decent mining software, mining application these days. It has a web interface built in, notifications built in, and cloud services built in. So the next thing we should talk about, of course, is pricing. Let's take a look at that. So the subscription price is $2 per miner per month, or you can save 25% with a yearly subscription. You can also get started for free with up to two miners, though you do get limited features. You don't get every single feature that would be included if you just did the monthly or yearly subscription. So I'll obviously leave links to all of this down in the video description below. And again, please, if you are interested, I would love if you use my affiliate link. Okay, let's go ahead and launch Awesome Miner for the first time here. So as it loads up, what it's gonna present me with is options to add my first miner. Here we go, add new miner. Go ahead and click next, and you're gonna get four options an external mon uh, miner, which may be if you already had mining software running on another rig and the API enabled, you can add that in here. A managed miner, which is what I will show you in a second. A managed profit miner, which is what I was talking about with profit switching earlier in this video. Or you can do a network scan for any ASICs or FPGAs that have an API enabled on your local network. It will pick those up. Right now, we're gonna do a managed miner. And we're gonna just name this my PC. And we're gonna start setting some options here. So the algorithm we're gonna mine, I'm gonna do Ethereum. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that as the algorithm. And I want to use T-Rex miner since I will be mining on a LHR 3070 Ti that is in this PC. And I need to add a pool here. So let's go ahead and create a new pool. And we're gonna just do Ethermine. And I'm gonna go ahead over to Ethermine and get the info for the pool. So we're gonna to go to the getting started for Ethermine here and I'm in the US East, so we're gonna head and choose that. I'm gonna copy that and paste it into here. And I saw that the port already is 4444. And then I need a worker name. My worker name is gonna be my wallet address. So uh, let's see, 
if I can get anybody's wallet address. I'm just going to go pick a random one out of my Discord here. And let's see who's going to be lucky to get some Ethereum mine to them for a little while. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do this one. So I'm going to put this address in as my worker name. And then you don't need a password, so you can just enter X there. And then I'm going to choose the coin, which is going to feed all the data in so I can see my profitability. So I'm going to choose that I'm mining Ethereum and click OK. And we're going to hit Next. It's going to assign that to my default group, which is my miners. Finish. And we're going to see, there we are. It loaded up. There's this miner in this PC ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit Start. You're going to see it's launching T-Rex Miner for me. It is authorized with the pool and it is off and going and we're going to let that settle out and then we'll check out how it's doing. All right, so that miner is running. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. You guys probably know what T-Rex miner looks like at this point. So I'm going to minimize that and we're just going to take a look at some of the data that it displays here on the main miners page. So you can see the temperature of the core of that GPU. It's being pulled in right here. You can see accepted, rejected, and hardware errors that will be reported in the miner. You can see the performance, 42.61 mega hash right now, and the power is pulling from the miner, 237 watts. And then my favorite feature is I can see my profitability right over here, mining Ethereum. This is current profitability live. One thing I do need to do is enter in my electric costs, and I'm gonna go over to options, and there's, you can see right away how many different options there are for uh, Awesome Miner. And there's just going to be a lot of time to go through them all. But what I'm looking for right now, which I believe is over in profitability, is my electricity price. So I'm just going to enter in 10 cent electric cost. And I want to see how that reflects here in my profitability. So now you can see it's taken out my electric cost and giving me my total revenue of $2.66, and then my profit now being $2.09. On this screen, let's take a look at some of the other um, data that it displays. You can see it's showing all the information about what mining software I'm using and the current profitability and everything at a glance here. You can see the pool that I'm mining to right here, and the GPU, all the data of the GPU you can see right here as well. So this is an EVGA 3070Ti, you can see the fan speed that it has, the GPU clock and memory clock it's currently running at. You can also see the memory temperature, which is something that you cannot see in Linux-based systems. So you can see the memory right now is 92 degrees Celsius as it mines. And then again, some repeated information here that you saw up in the My Miners group. You can go to see your whole system of information right here. This is Windows 10 that I'm running. You can see all the rest of the information, a Ryzen 9 3900X in here, hard drive, uh, memory, all of that. You can also see the console. So if this was on a remote rig, I would have the ability to see the miner and how it's running right there. Additional features I don't really use. That's the graph, tags, and notes. But one of my favorite features is, of course, seeing this profitability in real time. And you can also see all of that brought together on the main dashboard here. So this will refresh, there we go. And you can see I'm running one GPU right now, that same profit and revenue per day. And then we'll also take that and look at that per month. And you can see that set up here. So it'll take all your rigs, your CPUs, your ASICs, FPGAs, whatever you got mining, and put it in one dashboard here so you can see what your revenue or profit looks like over time. That's one of my absolute favorite features of Awesome Miner. Going on from here, I'm just gonna give you guys a view just so you can see how much data this application has in it. If we go over to the coins tab here, you can see it has all these cryptocurrencies in it and you can save hash rates uh, and do uh, benchmarks for each algorithm. It will tell you how much you would make on that algorithm. It pulls a lot of that data from what to mine, which is I know what we use for almost everything as well as online services. So you're talking nice hash, pro hashing, Zerg pool, Z, Z pool. A lot of those popular um, auto exchanging services or brokerage services, it will have all that information in here as well. And again, by algorithm, you can see how much profit you're making per day. And then you can take all of that information and build profit switching. So your miner will automatically switch to mine whatever's most profitable at whatever time frame you set up. The other thing that I wanted to show you all is the ability for this to keep itself up to date. So we're going to go over 
and you can see there's no updates available, but we do have some mining software updates available. So just some ASIC stuff for the gold shell miners, but this is where you would see some updates for T-Rex miner come in and B miner or anything else would get released right here. Now, the one thing you don't get with a free version that is included if you pay for it is the GPU clock. And you can see if I click that right now, there is no feature for the GPU native overclocking built in. And in future videos, I will show you my subscription of Awesome Miner with my rigs in it. And we will do some of that overclocking throughout. All right, before we wrap this up, there's one other feature that I really want to show you. So if you remember, I mentioned the remote agent. So you can go over to Awesome Miner website. You can download the remote agent installer and this will run that remote agent on your mining rig. So you'll go to your mining rig, download this, install it. And now that rig can communicate back with your main awesome miner setup. So I have that installed on several rigs down in my basement. So let's see if we can find one and edit into this awesome miner setup. So we're going to do a network scan and we're going to choose the miner type is awesome miner remote agent. And I have the port already figured out for this. So let's go ahead and start the scan and see what we pick up. Okay, looking like we picked up one already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add whatever that is. Uh, let's see, I'm actually not sure what machine that is. So let's see if we get some information here. So we're gonna go over to system and this has two RTX 3060s in it. All right, so this is my old PC that has those full hash rate 3060s in it. So let me just name that and I'm gonna set that up for mining Ethereum over on T-Rex miner. So same thing as before, just setting all of the algorithms and mining software I wanna use and it has the right pool already just so it can tell me all of the information that I might wanna know over in the profitability section. So I have that ready to go so I can hit start. And the one thing I can show you now is the console, which we can see if I hit refresh here, this is taking screenshots and showing me what the miner is showing in real time. You can also set that for auto refresh, which I have disabled right now, but I can have it set for auto refresh every two seconds. And that will refresh as you see on your screen and show me what is happening remotely in that miner. I'm going to go ahead and stop that because I'm pretty sure I'm running two uh, miners on that machine right now. And that's probably not going to be any good. So that's it guys, that is my overview and just getting started with Awesome Miner. Hope you found this helpful. Again, use my affiliate link down in the description below if you wanna download this, try it out, or pay $2 a month to get its, all of its features unlocked. Hope this was helpful to you in any way. Hit the like button if it was. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. I'll be doing more videos on a series on Awesome Miner because we only scratch the surface on some of the features that it has. Go to my Discord if you want to chat. The link is in the description below. As always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.